Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem, merge strings alternately. We're given two strings, word one and word two, and basically we wanna merge them character by character, starting with the first character from word one, and then adding that to the output string. So for example, if we have two words, one word, word one is ABC and word two is PQR. We're gonna start with the first character from word one and add that to the output. And then we're gonna get the first character of word two, which is P, add that to the output, and then get the next character from word one, which is B, and the next character from word two, Q, C here, and then R from this word. And then this is the output string and that's what we would return just like we have over here. Now in this example, both strings were of equal size, but we could run into a case where one of the words is much longer than the other one. So for example, if we got to the point where we were at this, where we took the first three characters from each string, and then this is what we had, and then we run out of characters from word one, nothing left here, but we have a bunch of characters in word two. Well then, in that case, we would just take whatever is over here, let's say it's X, Y, Z, something, 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 and then just append that to the string that we currently have. So we would just have X, Y, Z, and whatever else comes over here. So algorithmically, the way we're gonna code this up is just by having a pointer for word one, let's say that's I, and have a pointer for word two, let's say that's J, and just keep iterating through these while both of them are in bounds. And when one of them goes out of bounds, we take the, all the characters from the other string and then append that to the result that we had. So overall, the algorithm is gonna run in O of N plus M time because Word one, let's say has N characters and word two maybe has M characters. We have to visit every single character from each string. So now let's code it up. So I'm gonna start with initializing our pointers, I and J. I'm gonna set both of them equal to zero. They're gonna be at the beginning of each of the words and we're gonna be building our result. And even though the result is gonna be a string, appending and updating a string is not an efficient operation. It's more efficient to just add the strings as characters to an array. And then at the end, we will join all of the characters in that array like this. In Python, you can use that empty string as the delimiter and basically say all the strings and result are gonna be appended together with this in between them. And this is an empty string, so basically nothing in between them. So now let's actually build that output string. Well, first of all, we're gonna be iterating while the I pointer is in bounds, while it is in bounds of the first word, and while J is in bounds of the second word. As that's the case, we're gonna take whatever character is at index I in word one and append that to our result like this. And I'm gonna copy and paste this line because that's what we're basically gonna do with word two as well, except with pointer J. So just like that. And then don't forget to actually update the pointer. So I is gonna be incremented by one, J is also gonna be incremented by one. At the end of this, one of the strings could still have characters left. So in Python, the easiest thing to do here would just be to append to the result. Well, append like this, since result is an array. The substring of word one, starting at index i, going up until the end of the string. So if i is out of bounds, this will append nothing to result, but if i is in bounds, we'll append the remaining characters of word one. And we're gonna do the same thing with word two, because we don't know which one of them could still have characters left. So with word two, we're gonna use pointer j, and just like that. And this will ultimately return the result we want. So let's run it to make sure that it works. As you can see, yes, it does. And it's pretty efficient. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io. It has a ton of free resources to help you prepare. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll see you pretty soon.